Good morning, everyone. It's been a long time since I've done a video. I've been spending a lot of time with the Lord, and He's been uh, continuing to heal me, show me different things, and I want to share a few things. I'll probably make a couple of videos today. I'm not sure. I'm praying about it. The Lord gave me a word on August 8th that I want to share with you, and I want to share some things the Lord has shown me about this. He gave me this word, and I've been pondering it this whole time. And this is what he said. Write these words that I will say to you, and do not doubt me. The train is coming, my glory train. It will transform my chosen. Do you not perceive it? How I long to take you into my arms. I love you. I love you. Wait for me. I am coming to empower you. There is much to be done. Be ready. Seek me. Cry out to me. You are mine and I am yours. So when I got this word, it just reminded me of prophetic words I've heard in the past and that I used to have questions about the train is coming, my glory train. So I looked it up and I did find a couple of visions that people had uh, back in 1999. There was one and um, Bob Jones uh, had a vision. Now the Lord, people were are not going to like to hear this, but the Lord showed me that Bob Jones walked in a mixture. And um, there's a lot of people that, you know, believe in the visions he's had. And, and if he had a mixture, he had a form of truth. He had some truth, but he also had some deception. So I've always stayed clear of anything that he ever taught because when someone has a mixture, you don't know which is true and which is not. So I questioned this word about this train coming and um, I read a vision someone had about a train and it was the glory train um, but the last couple of days the Lord has been putting in my heart to research this train now we know in the book of Isaiah chapter 6 Isaiah had a vision and in in chapter 6 verse 1 it said in the year that King Isaiah died I saw the Lord sitting upon a throne high and lifted up and the train of his robe filled the temple so I did a study on the train of the Lord which I knew is what the Lord wanted me to do because in our mind we're thinking in my mind I was thinking about this big train locomotive train but no, the Lord was talking about his train. And if you do a study on king's robes, you will find out that king's robes represent their power, their authority, and their glory. Um, I looked up uh, some things from the original Greek and uh, the train represented glory, glorious, honor, praise, dignity, worship. Um, according, based on the Greek and Hebrew, God's hem was also his glory and part of his garment. Uh, and then we want to remember the woman who touched the hem of Jesus' garment and she was healed. So this train that God is talking about is his glory train. It's not a locomotive. And back in the biblical days, when a king went to war and he overcame the enemy, they would cut a piece of the uh, conquered king's robe and the victorious king would sew this onto his robe and so his train became very long if he was a, a very uh, successful king. Um, I'm 
sorry, but this is just overwhelming to me because God is coming to glorify people that he has chosen for this hour. And his presence is going to come upon us. And we will show his glory. Now Jesus said that when he will be lifted up, all men will be drawn to him. When God's people are glorified, the world is going to see who he really is. And they will be drawn to them. They will flock to them because they will have the presence of the living God showing on their person. It just it boggles my mind. It boggles my mind. And to think that God is going to do this. Uh, and there's proof of it. Many, many scriptures the Lord has given me over the years. And the one that we like to quote the most and one that is most significant, I believe, is in Isaiah chapter 60. Starting with verse 1. Rise up in splendor, your light has come. The glory of the Lord shines upon you. See, darkness covers the earth, and thick clouds cover the peoples. But upon you the Lord shines, and over you appears his glory. Nations shall walk by your light, and kings by your shining radiance. Raise your eyes and look about. They all gather and come to you. Your sons come from afar, and your daughters in the arms of their nurses. Then you shall be radiant at what you see. Your heart shall throb and overflow, for the riches of the sea shall be emptied out before you. The wealth of the nations shall be brought to you. So I wanted to share this with you guys. Um, I know from what the Lord has been doing in my physical body, He's preparing me and I know that means he's preparing others. And his, his glory is coming. His glory is coming. His train will fill the temple. And in 1 Corinthians 3.16, Know ye not that ye are the temple of God, and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you? His glory is coming. And it's going to fill his temple. And we are his temple. And when he is lifted up, all men will be drawn to him. God bless you guys. I love you. Bye.